Hey there everybody, this is Ginger of Red coming at you from Red, and we are back in Bloodborne. Last time I promised we were going to go through the password door into Bergenworth to progress through the story, until I found out a little something about this. If you're not quite familiar where we are, this is where I messed around a lot in the previous episode and nearly got lost in and nearly lost... 60,000 echoes, but apparently there is just this set of double doors down here, and I want to show y'all what might be behind it, so let's take a gander. Hopefully it's not a boss. Oh, it's a suspicious hallway, that's for sure. Alright, stairwell, and abandoned old workshop. Whoa, wait, what? This... Oh my god. No way. Whoa. Okay, uh, trying to think. Really hard here. Um, okay, if, if it isn't obvious to those of you who are here, this is obviously the place in the hunter's dream. But it's not, because we're in the real world? Okay, so this is where the, the... The bath with the messengers would be. There's a chest. Doll hat, doll clothes, doll glo- Oh my god. What is this place? Uh, none of the gravestones are here. But this house is a real place? What's this? Old Hunter Bone. Oh, I have to look at all these. Oh, man. Okay, here's a lamp. Oh, man. What does this mean? I think that would be the workshop. This would be... Oh, my gosh. What's going on here? Storage would be right here. Oh, this is actually an item. Small hair ornament. And... Oh my god! Oh! Doll? It spooked me. An abandoned doll. That's like... Oh my god, that's... What does this mean? Inspect. One third of umbilical cord. What? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I know what this is for. I was not expecting to find one here. Okay. I guess that's all that's here, but okay, I, I need to see what these are. Uh, one third of umbilical cord. A great relic also known as the cord of the eye. A great relic also known as the cord of the eye. Every infant great one has this precursor to the umbilical cord. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precip precipit precipitated, I'm so sorry, precipitated the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream? Used to gain insight and, so they say, eyes on the inside, although no one remembers what that truly entails. Okay, I'm saving that. That's very interesting. I don't know what to make of that yet. Okay, what else do- oh yeah, the hair ornament. A small plain hair ornament. Although it has been lost for quite some time, one can still see signs of the care with which this tasteful ornament was once kept. Its color would stand out most brilliantly against a head of grayish hair. Like the doll? Is this the dolls? Okay... Oh wait, I found this. I forgot to read it. Hat the messengers are f oddly fond of. A nice top hat that rounds, rounds out any Yarnum gentleman. And then the same thing about... Let them revel. So, what does that mean? I already read this one. Okay. 
really trying to rack my brain about what this means, and I have the doll set? I do. A discarded doll's hat, likely a spare from dress up. A deep love for the doll can be surmised by the fine craftsmanship of this article and the care with which it was kept. It borderlines on mania and exudes a slight warmth. Doll clothes. Discarded doll clothing likely a spare for dress up. Same description. Discard doll's gloves. And skirt. What does this mean? Why is there a real hunt? Why is there a real workshop here? What does that mean? I, I realized these don't do anything. Why? What are these used for? A blood gem that fortifies weapons and adds various properties. Blood gems are especially rare bloodstones that grow on cold blood. Blood gems are needed into weapons using workshop tools, but only when, but only when of matching type. Most triangular blood gems have effects that provide attribute bonuses and extra effects. Oh, so it's a slot thing. Oh, so the hunter's axe has one triangle root or slot at the end. And this one has a circular one at the end? Okay. So that's what why that's why I couldn't use those. Obviously I upgraded my new sword and everything. Oh god, that's actually very creepy. Okay, now as promised, we're going to head back to uh, the healing... The I'm sorry. <laughs> we're going to head back to the Grand Cathedral to progress through the story by going to the password door to Bergenworth. So I will... see. Oh, the third headstone. What? Are you out again? Oh, I have something for you. Welcome home, good hunter. I must have drifted off. What is it you desire? Uh, oh! I can give you the ornament. Here, I got something for you. What? What is this? I... I... can't remember. Not a thing, only... I feel... a yearning, something I never felt before. Are you What's wiping a tear? To me? <gasps> Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? <sighs> <gasps> that was a tear. You just gave me a tear stone. Did I just make you more human? Whoa, you... Wait a minute, what? Oh, I don't know what that means. What did I do? She gave me something. Tear stone. Silver shining tear stone used to gain a droplet blood gem. Oh, I got another blood gem. I'll check on that later, but yeah, I unlocked the third headstone. It's just the abandoned workshop. There's only one gravestone left. And it's broken in half and looks terrifying, actually. Oh dear. Okay. We may be further along than I expected. Okay, so we're going to Grand Cathedral. All right, meet y'all there. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. This has got like all my lore vibes on high. Very fascinating. Okay, so I think we're going to head. Oh, I think we actually need to head straight down into the. The horrible giant people courtyard, which means we gotta kill all these guys. I can do that. Why are you walking away? Just let me visceral you. I want to try out my new weapon. Alley-oop. Woo! Hey, you can't touch me. Hey, you can't touch me. Ow. Okay, you just did. Oh! My controller! Uh, hang on. I came prepared. Okay, just give me a second. Oh dear. Pressing buttons. What am I doing? <laughs> Press it again. Alright. Done. Problem solved. This is why you bring the recharger with you. Can't carry bullets. Why do these guys have bullets? Whatever. Okay. There we go. 
I'm gonna want to use that on this guy. Okay. Let's see if we can get the one up on him. Okay. Leap. Well, oh, that staggered him a bit. Okay. I think we got this. Oh, he's almost dead. Why is that notification of Quicksilver Bullets still on my screen? Blue Elixir. Oh, yeah, he did drop those. Alright. Uh-oh. Okay. I thought they were coming for me. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Wait, where are the other guys? There he is. Let's see if I can get him. Hopefully Scythe Man won't notice. I think he noticed. Okay, let's hope I can just get this guy. Okay. He's out of the way. Okay. Yeah, this guy's just way too slow. Got something special for you! Hi, I got you! Ha-ha! Got some health back. That wasn't so bad. This is actually a really good weapon. What you drop? Blood vials, thank you. Oh, lantern guys, fantastic. You have bullets, of course. I don't like these guys. Let's just try to kill them quickly. Officially. Okay. Because uh, if y'all didn't... If y'all don't remember me saying, because I don't think y'all got to see it. But, uh, oh, there's a dog. These lantern guys apparently have, uh... Arcane attacks. Like, their lantern can actually shoot arcane bolts of some sort that can just one hit kill me if they want. So, yeah. Nice and fair, huh? Okay, so I just need to. Why aren't they wandering? Wait. Are they sleeping? Wait a minute, it's nighttime. Holy. I just noticed this. Time changed. And these guys are sleeping. Why didn't I notice that before? Okay. So I can actually just ignore you. Wow, he's ignoring me. This is very odd. Wait, wasn't... Oh god, yeah, you were up here. Alright. Of course you got bullets. Did I see something here? No, I didn't. And they're just trying to shoot at me. Hardy. Did I miss this? Wow, I missed these. How silly of... What the... Oh. That was weird. <laughs> okay, I think this is the way I have to go. Uh, right over here. Look. They're still shooting at me. What jerks? Ooh, what? Who are you? Wait, are you Alfred? Oh, good to see you. Oh, what's up, man? Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. Okay, uh, got anything new? Tell me about the vile bloods. Ah, there's something I want to tell you. A bit of wisdom from the eminent master Lagarius. Once, a scholar betrayed his fellows at Bergenworth and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search for the path to Canehurst Castle. Interesting. So this is a place I can go to? I think I already asked about these two. Very cool. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. The good blood. So I'm still confused as to what it means to be a vile blood. Apparently they stole special blood from the healing church. And apparently this blood is just bad and they're just using it. Okay, here's the moment of truth. <laughs> the password. Fear the old blood. Oh, baby. 
All right. Here we... What? You're a skeleton. What? What? Already dead. Madman's... What? I have no idea what that means. That's just unsettling. Okay. Who was... Was he talking? I don't know. It's getting dark. Alright, what did we bring ourselves into this time? This is apparently the right way to progress. So, let's just get down with it. Oh, yay. Another forest-type place. Because everything went so well with the last one. Forbi forbidden Woods! Oh, yeah! Bergenworth is Forbidden Grounds. So we're not really supposed to be here. Is this a place I'm supposed to jump? Is there an item on that cliff? That is a place I'm supposed to jump, obviously. They would have they would have blocked it off otherwise. Hmm, there's bones everywhere. This is I what is this place? There are there are, why are there always gravestones? What's the deal? This is a very big place. Seeing people with torches. Hearing things. Oh, one of you guys. I think I'll try to leave you alone for now. Alright. More twin blood shards, very nice. Be nice to upgrade. So what would dropping down there have done? I'm almost tempted to go back and do that. Actually, yeah, I want to do that. Because there wasn't a lantern at the top, so I'm probably not going to be able to go back there very often. When in doubt, explore. Or, when in doubt, just do it. <laughs> do it. And... Nothing. Really? I did that for nothing? You put nothing here? Oh. So I was just... Yeah, that was for nothing. Well, thank you. And by the way, I noticed the rune that says, like, you can carry more blood vials. G gave me one. Thank you. I feel so privileged now. You have a gun, don't you? What, what are you doing? And by the way, that sword is so quick. I love it. It's a lot faster than the axe. I'd even wager if the range was actually better as well. Because I think the axe is like, gotta be really close. But I think this one's slightly more lenient. As far as the range goes. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. <laughs> I could just be heading to most awful of things. Like that! What's up, bro? Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, oh missed. Face the power of my greatsword. I missed with the power of my greatsword. Ah. Uh, uh, this is actually really good. I can swing a lot... Oh, another bludgeon. I can swing a lot faster with this one than the larger axe. Less swings, yes, but I can swing faster. What's over here? Madman's knowledge. And another gem. Okay, so that's a dead end, so we're gonna head all the way back down. Whew. Doing really well, doing really well. <laughs> this place has just got all the same vibes that uh, Hemwick had, and I, I don't like that. Oh, hey! I don't have to worry about you anymore. <laughs> but vials! Alright. This greatsword's very nice. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Ooh! Lantern! Yay. Anything else around here? 
That's a shortcut, isn't it? Oh god, oh jeez. Always the crows. Really, it's always the crows. Getting sick of it. At least there's an item. Oh, it's antidote. Oh, it's antidote. That's not good. <laughs> Never be happy when they give you antidotes. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. And the game has said that before, and it will keep saying it over and over. All right. I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you all for watching. And thank you for, uh... Whatever the heck we found in that place. Just the old workshop, I mean... The exact same as the Hunter's Dream? Like, was it based... Is it based off the Hunter's Dream, or is it the other way around? I don't know, but... That's what makes things like this and the lore of this game so interesting. So, thank you all for watching. Please check out my fellow YouTubers at the channel Downright Start. Like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And, until the next video, to be continued. Bye bye And up here we find... Oh, God! Oh. I think our legs aren't exactly working. Oh, not another needle. I'm guessing that's adrenaline. Hey, Dodo. Pick it up. We might need. We can use that. Oh, I, I picked it up all right. So come here, Dodo. You're next to me.